Okay, so we are here at Skydive Arizona today because we're gonna to try to answer the question, when is acceleration the greatest in skydiving? It's a question I asked a couple weeks ago. But when is acceleration the greatest in skydiving? Is it when you jump out of the plane? Is it when you reach terminal velocity? Is it when you open your parachute? Or is it when you land? To help us answer this question, I'm not just going theoretical here. We actually have a data logger. It basically measures the G-forces. So I'm gonna put this in my pocket. I've already set it up. And I'm gonna go up in the plane and we're gonna figure out when is acceleration the greatest. As I head up, I want to remind you that acceleration in physics is defined simply as a change in velocity over time. That means, at a constant velocity like in the plane, you're not accelerating. As soon as you jump out, though, your velocity changes quickly until you hit a speed known as terminal velocity. You stay at that speed until you deploy your chute. A few minutes later, you land. Now, remember, we're looking for the largest summative acceleration, no matter what direction it's in. All right. Let's go see what the data logger says. This particular logger measures acceleration in three planes. I'm running it through a program to give us summative acceleration. And this is what it looks like. Now, to the untrained eye, it's pretty messy. So I did seven more jumps, looked for the trends, and plotted them on my own new graph. Let's see what this shows us. For the most part, the ride to altitude here was gradual, so I showed zero acceleration. When it was time to jump out of the plane, my acceleration actually peaked at about negative 7 meters per second squared. Negative because here, I set the acceleration up as positive. In about 10 seconds, we hit terminal velocity, so I stopped accelerating. When I deployed the parachute, though, I averaged about 27 meters per second squared. Remember, it takes almost a thousand feet to open the parachute, so it's actually slower than you might think. In fact, a few big diving turns with the canopy gave peaks of acceleration around 15 meters per second squared, that happening on the recovery of the parachute. Finally, landing actually had a much higher impact than I expected. The average over my seven jumps was actually an instant spike of about 23 meters per second squared, even though that when Jonas filmed the first one, I had a very smooth landing. So here's the conclusion. Acceleration is just a change in velocity, right? So if you're going at a high velocity and you slow down, that's also acceleration. And if you want to think of it as acceleration in a negative direction instead of deceleration, that's fine. But we're looking for acceleration that's the greatest. And it turns out when you open your parachute is when acceleration is greatest, meaning the greatest change in velocity over the shortest period of time. Cool, huh? Remember, we have a whole bunch of new videos to watch, and you can subscribe to our new channel right here and get new videos every week when we put them out. All right, see you soon.